Hi, YouTubers. It's Evan next to be entering Ramble now. So, uh, interesting Ramble as of uh, July 15th, uh, 2020. Something pretty freaking cool. So, uh, anyway, discuss something right now. So, basically, uh, this has to do with YouTube again. Nice, big ass YouTube, like a big ass cigar. So, uh, anyway, um, basically, this has to do with um, changes on YouTube. Now, everyone knows uh, from time to time, YouTube uh, gets a little bit different. They add new policies, they add new different stuff, different crap, that kind of stuff. You know, uh, for example, last December, they updated their terms of service and um, a lot of people were freaking out, but it turned out to be not a big deal. So uh, that's actually what this video is going to be about. So uh, essentially, uh, YouTube ha goes through a lot of changes, like any major company, uh, just like Facebook, uh, Twitter, all those kind of crap. You know, uh, basically, um, from time to time, things change, different rules change, and essentially, I want to talk about how a lot of people overreact. So, uh, uh, for instance. Um, when last year when they announced the whole thing with COPPA, you know, the Child Online Privacy Protection Act, you know, people were freaking their asses out, you know, people were saying, OMFG, $42,000 fine, YouTube is dead, this is the end of YouTube, there's no way YouTube's going to survive it, and guess what? Come July 15th, 2020, just looking at the date on my computer, Nothing has happened, as far as I know, nobody's been fined, and YouTube is the same it was back in uh, last year. Nothing has really happened except for the new change where you have to, you know, choose whether you want to mark your videos as made for kids or not. So, and yeah, a lot of contents are getting marked as made for kids where it's really not made for kids. I mean, that really kind of sucks. So, anyway, but honestly, uh, look at that. I mean, look at Coppa, you know. It's like people were freaking their asses out, and honestly, it turned out not to be that big of a deal. So, uh, now I'm not saying there is zero risk, but I mean, and obviously I'm not, you know, whatever. So, I mean, uh, but I mean, look at that. I mean, look at the Terms of Service update. People were freaking their asses out. I mean, people were saying, YouTube's going to delete every channel that's not profitable by December 10th, and that turned out to be complete bullshit. So, uh, it was not true at all. The Terms of Service update had had all to do with um, basically just removing outdated features, removing uh, things such as you know classic studio that kind of crap that kind of shit you know, and basically it es essentially affected virtually nobody. I mean, most people use Studio Beta now. It's like people were saying, "Oh my God, OMFG, come December 10th, every video that's not monetized is, go is going away." It turned out to be complete BS. Anyway, I think people need to take time, take time, and think about the, ch the changes before they freak out. Now, believe me, there always will be YouTube doomsday people, but you know what? It's like, take your time before you freak your fucking ass out. Anyway, big ass girl life, bye. Pretty freaking cool, bye.